Eva. Yeah? Oh, hi. I'm Eva, and this is my brother, Thomas. I was just reading this book, The Quest for Paradise. It's a good book. It's about a mouse called Geronimo Silm. The publisher is Scholastic. It has 230 pages. 320. Okay, 320, 230. Um, I don't know, but it's a good book, and it is a fiction adventure. I think that it would be good for people ages 4 to 12. If, you, if you're too young to read it, well, why don't you get your mom or dad to read it, or an older sibling? It's a very good book. I definitely recommend it. it, it um, I'll tell you a summary a bit later. I definitely recommend it. And was I interested in it? Yes, I was interested in it. This was the very first Geronimo Stilton book that I've ever read. There's actually a lot of Geronimo Stilton books out there, not just the Kingdom of Fantasy. And so, my parents got it for me one time at Christmas. Thank you, parents. I really like it. And so now I can, so now I will tell you it. We will tell you it. Long story short. Long story short, long story short, if the story's long, we'll tell it to you short. Welcome to Long Story, welcome to Long Story, welcome to Long Story Short. So, Geronimo Stilton is a brown mouse, he, or orange mouse, whatever, he is a mouse who runs a newspaper at on Mouse Island. It is called the Rodents Gazette. His only um, competitor competitor is Sally Rat Mosin, who runs the Daily Rat. And if you ever go to Mouse Island, do not ask for a subscription. She will yell her head off. Go to John Mosin. Anyway, so I will tell you about it now. So, Geronimo Stilton is sucked into the kingdom of fantasy because a gigantic golden dragon called the Dragon of the Rainbow arrives at his window at the stroke of midnight. And also, Geronimo is also not an adventurous sort of mouse. He is so scared. he's always dragged off on the adventure. He is scared sick of them. And somehow, he keeps asking himself, why, oh why is it always me? Except he is sick. You are always at once perfectly fine with no temple. Um, usually. Except for that one time when his friend deleted his email. But anyway, um, well, his whole email. But anyway, so, the Queen of the Fairies, Blossom, Queen Blossom, asked him to come and search for a certain crystal heart called the Heart of Paradise. And so, Geronimo Stilton accepts... And he, t he takes along a group that he calls the Heartfinders Club. In it, he takes the Dragon of the Rainbow himself, a mysterious princess called Snowy, who, for some reason or another, won't talk, a c cockroach called Oscar Roach, a boil cover chameleon called Boils, who loves candy and hates the gro um, a goose called Goose Blah Blah, who is a nurse and is gossipy and hates Boils. Anyway, so... They face, they face dangers around every turn, from ogres that want to eat them, to tr becoming the half-frozen club on a frozen candy mountain. And so, I definitely recommend this book. I was very interested in it, and before we close, I think I'd like to maybe make, maybe say a few points of the book that we liked. So, any that you liked? Well, I liked it where Geronimo... Oh's cousin trap made me a hundred and one plates of spaghetti. So made me a hundred and one plates of spaghetti. Come. That's more annoying than Thomas. Uh, so even if it was my even if it so, was a cousin that asked sick. me, I would not eat that. He, at first he was going to refuse, but then his nephew came along and thought it was interesting and he just can't refuse his sweet little nephew anything. So, so sit. There he was, eating a hundred and one plates of spaghetti. And an ambience had to come and get him. But one of that's my favorite he was. Yes, that's how and he was fat. He felt like a furry beached whip. And one of my favorite parts is where they have the Jokathon on the Candy Mountain. It well they're going to see the Queen of Sweets. And one of the jokes is a family of cat of 
tomatoes were walking down the street. The dad said to the little tomato who was ha who was lagging behind, ketchup. I just think that is so fun. Another part that I like is the Queen of Sweets. She forces she wants Geronimo to bake her a sweet that she has never tasted before. So he makes cheese full cake. She is so angry that she has never tasted it before. She splats it into the shell. And this is Splat. yes. And this is kind of interesting because it even has a ingredient list for the cheesy full cake. cake. And so I would definitely recommend this book. Was I interested? Yes, I was interested. And so and this was yeah. I would also recommend it. And I'm not that interested. In okay, he's not that interested. But he likes he likes books about like he likes books about dinosaurs and real stuff. I like books about fiction and mice that are drama, so I hate mice. But well, this has been long story ones. short, and we hope that you enjoyed, and we hope that we'll be seeing you next time. Yeah. Oh yes, Mammoth has a little thing to say here. Like and subscribe. And a special tip from Mammoth. Never spit into the wind. Thank you, Mammoth. This has been Long Story Short, I'm Ava, this is Thomas, Mammoth, and Storm. And we hope that you enjoyed, and we'll be seeing you next time. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. composed and performed by us.